Hello, here we go again. Got another lesson for you. Um, it's the beautiful Chasing Rainbows by Shed7. Let's not mess about, let's get straight into it. Okay, so it's all based around, that opening riff is all based around an F sharp minor chord. But it plays it up here. So imagine the A minor shape with those fingers and slide it up to there. So yeah, you're on the ninth fret with the bar. And all you do is you hammer on your second and third finger, take the little finger off, keep that one off, and then add it to the 12th fret on the high E string. And you just kind of hammer and click up. Then he does a little flick, a little um, hammer on on the, on the G string on the 11th fret. Down to the D. And then, and then we do a, you go, it then goes to an E major chord basically. So you're going, but it's up here. So what you do for E major is you just keep that barred, but you don't do the, the low E string. You keep that open and you let that ring out and you hammer onto the, onto the A string, onto the 11th fret. And then you, you kind of pluck up on the D and the G string. Okay. Now it's, I watched him live um, and I've worked out the exact hammer-ons he does live. Whether that's the way he's always done it, I don't know, but I get the, I get the feeling that it's a bit varied. But they sort of fix him whenever you want. But what he done on the version I watched was he goes, there's a flick here and then he goes, So it's one, two, he actually does it with this, fist, this finger, and then he quickly slides up to the 12th and he goes back. I find it easy with, with, this, with the little finger on this part. And then he does another little hammer on on the, on the D string. Okay, so just I'll do that slowly all the way through. Okay, so that's the the uh, that's the verse and the vocal comes in over that part, and then we got like the pre-chorus section, which is basically C sharp minor. So C sharp minor, A and E, and that's pretty much what he's doing. But he just does a smaller version of the chord on on the C sharp minor. So he slides from on the G string from the fourth fret. Okay, so you slide from the 4th fret to the 6th fret and then pluck up on the B string on the 5th fret. And then take that finger off and then you go to the 4th to the fret on the B string with your 1st finger. And then you go into an A chord and you sort of hammer on. And then you go to an E. Okay, so just hammer on with the, with the G string and then flick up on the B string. And then take that finger off. And on, this, and on this part, he picks his way through it. So he goes. That's the way I do it. I find it easier just to do the E major chord and then add the little finger and pick through. So. When he does it, he kind of goes, he sort of takes his whole hand off and I'm not exactly sure, but it's the same, same result. And it's all based around this major chord. You just got to get that G string on the second fret hammered on. And that's the pre-chorus. And then, okay, so we got, 
There's a B major chord and it just builds up. And then we've got the chorus. And the chorus is just an E major, a B major, a C sharp minor, and an A. And and that's pretty much it. And, and he hits he kind of hits the low roots of, of the chord and then just pulls up on the on the high strings. So sometimes I've noticed he does. I do my B's differently every time. So it's essentially that. So them three. Um, I was. You could do it like that. It gives it more chime, which I quite like. But he always seems to hit that on the B string. So. Does this on the A chord. Which is basically the riff from Going for Gold, which I've also done a YouTube video on if anyone wants to watch that. Um, yeah, you just hammer on, kind of like you do up here, and pick your way through. First time I think he does this. But most of the time he does this. Uh, but it's the same chord, it's still an A, but you just add a little finger on and off. I think he does that the first time around and the second time around. You can sort of do either. I think he might mix it up live, I'm not sure. Um, after the after the first chorus, when they go back into the second verse, he plays the verse slightly different. Instead of going, he does this. And then that bit's the same as, as the previous verse. is it's just um, on the G string and the B string uh, okay so third finger on the 13th fret second finger on the 12th and just slide it down um, first time and then you bar this this section so it's two stabs and then you add the little finger on the on the 12th fret and then you go to the previous part and then we've got the solo um, Okay, so we, it just the whole section changes, and then he does this, or something like this. Let me get a bit of gain. Not the only M lines. Um, okay, so just you're on the seven, eight, ninth fret. You hammer on to the eleventh. So you go from the D to the B. Sorry, D to the G. Twice. 
And then you just sort of this little run down on the G. Three notes. Eleventh fret, ninth fret, eighth fret, ninth fret on the D, and then you do this. So that's six, seven on the D, and then uh, ninth fret on the A. Okay, so that little run down that happens about three or four times, I think. So yeah, so the first one, sorry. It does it again. Then he does the same hammer on thing, but just on a lower string. So he goes from the A to the D. Then he goes, okay. And then he goes back to the old version. So he just stops there, and then he does that riff again. And then this time he goes, which is just hold the, the G and the B string on the uh, ninth fret. So sometimes he does a unison bend. Sometimes he goes. You do either, and then he goes. So it's, uh, okay, 11, 9, 11 on the D. So 11 and 9 on the G, and then 11 on the D. And you just repeat that three times, and then he goes on the 12th fret, high E, B, G. Okay, so if anyone, uh, if you've got two guitarists in your band or whatever, or you're playing a song with someone and you want to do the solo, the chords underneath the solo is a whole different section as well. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just uh, F sharp minor, E major, and B major. Changes goes to C sharp minor. That's a C sharp minor, E major, and then B again. Um, yeah, and it does that a couple of times, and then it, it ends on the B. Before we go back into the chorus, so they're the chords underneath the solo. Okay, I'm hoping that all made sense. Um, yeah, there you go. Shed 7 Chasing Rainbows. Have fun.